Tom, Tom, wake up the alarm bells. There's a fire in the works. How in heaven's name did it become activated? Oh, you better give the maintenance company a call. We can't have the sprinklers going off for no reason. I'll do it first thing. Still, at least we know the alarm bells work. True. I can't imagine what came over us falling asleep like that. Ah. Asleep? Yes. Pat and I dropped right off. Well, let's go and get something to mop it up with. Transimulated objectified. Here, you better strip off before you catch your death of cold. If it hadn't been for those sprinklers, I'd have caught my death of heat. For once, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and take it that you didn't start the fire. And he was going to burn me to a cinder. Germida. Who else would want to kill me? Nobody else knows I'm on earth except you. And your uncle. Is there any way that Germida could make us all fall asleep. Is that what happened? Well, I certainly dozed off. So did Mum and Dad. And Zoe wouldn't missed out in the excitement if she'd been awake. Has anybody strange been in the house? Not that I know of. Hang about. We didn't have smoke detectors fitted. I'll put these in the tumble dryer. that. No, thanks. You have my permission to call me an idiot. I spilt water all over my feet. Dad, are you really going to let Zoe write your own column? Why? Don't tell me you're thinking of becoming a contributor. Um, no. Have you got something on your mind? No. Well, look what you're doing to that tracksuit. How do you mean? You're creasing it. Shake it out and fold it up properly. Where's your mum? She's in the living room. But Mum, a writer must feel free, unfettered, able to allow her thoughts to grow wings, to soar, able to express her opinions without fear or favour. Oh, Zoe, I'm not suggesting you should always be objective. Even a columnist is entitled to have an opinion. But do you really think it wise to call the majority of your readers cretins? I wouldn't be that stupid. Wouldn't you? How this no-talent group got to number two in the charts is beyond me. Only a cretin would give them house room. There's the reason you dozed off. This was in the smoke detector. Should we take them all down? No. They're harmless now. Tricky customer, this Gemida. Determined to get you. Wonder what he'll try next. Black holes and quasars. No one could accuse you of being an optimist. I'd be giving some more thought to the photograph for the top of my pop column. They had a chart for Pess, you'd be number one. I refuse to descend to squalid insults. I've reconsidered. Not the profile. Cliché. Everyone has that. Perhaps a full-length shot of me. A la Cleopatra. Fine, I'll pop down to the pet shop and buy an asp. Better still an elephant. Difficult to get up the stairs, but nothing ventured. How about a donkey? There's no problem there. We've already got one big ear. That does it, Zoe. Out. Keep your wig on. I'm only joking. Hey, that's cool. A clock operating in reverse. Where'd you get it? Belongs to a friend of mine. You must introduce him to me. Now, that's what I call lateral thinking. There'll be something else around here that's lateral if you don't clear off. Oh, very macho. Anyway, I'll need a good night's sleep if I'm to look my best for the big day tomorrow. One thing about you, what? You're consistent. A back to front clock to match your back to front ears. You know I can't help making mistakes when I'm trying to animate objective objective Wing, wing, wing. Black holes and quasars! What did you do that for? It's well stuck on. What 
what is? Your wig. My wig? Zoe told you not to take it off. Keep your wig on. It's an expression we use. It's not meant for real. You humans should learn to express yourselves more clearly. It's very confusing. Hard oh, chief. You of all people shouldn't be confused. By the way, where am I going to sleep? Sleep? I hadn't thought of that. You're not putting me in that drafty shed. This'll do. You sure? I'll need a pillow. Here. A blanket. Blanket. Any other orders, your highness? I'm not called that on my planet. Well, what are you called? Royal Prince of the Realm. Why then, any other orders, your Royal Prince of the Realm? Yes. What's this about a big day tomorrow? Zoe washing up. Stranger than fiction. Anything else I can do? Well, let's see. The car can do it clean, and uh, the shed's a bit untidy. Tom, no, I don't think so, Zoe. Are you certain? I want to be of help. They pinch me, Dad. With pleasure. Why? Make sure I'm not dreaming. Behave yourselves, you two. Oh, it's quite all right, Mother. I won't be provoked. Mother! Perhaps you can make your bed now, Zoe. Certainly, my pleasure. Before you go, can you pour me a cup of tea? Call your own big ears. Bingo! That's the dear sister we know and love. You asked for that, Sean. Too true. All the same, I don't get this reformation. Don't you? I thought we'd be treated to a taste of the Zoe tantrums after the criticism you dished out in our article. You're forgetting. I'm on the panel of judges. To, to choose, choose the, the Gala, Gala Princess. princess. Exactly. <clears throat> My loyal subject. Princess Zoe wishes to thank you for this honour that you have, in your wisdom, your great wisdom, conferred upon her. We'll carry a double page spread of the gala in next week's issue, so there's no need to be too economical in the film. I'll take plenty of action shots. Well, make sure you get all the contestants for the gala princess. According to Zoe, it's a one horse race. I like that I sidestep being a judge. Chicken! <laughs> Oh, hello, Kate. Come in. I bought some bunting, Mrs. Roddick. Ah, oh, splendid. Stayed up late last night making it. Good. Um, you can take it out to Mr. Ruddock. He's in the yard. You can go through the kitchen. Morning, Zoe. Morning, Good morning, Kate. What's she doing here? Same as you. Trying to butter up Mum? Isn't she the favourite for the Gala Princess? If it were judged only on brains, I beat her hands down. You'd win points for modesty too. Where's the cloak and crown? Um, on my bed. No, it's not. I've just looked there. I'm sure that's where I left them. What are you looking for? The self-destruct button. Someone as reckless as you must have one. I don't find that funny. What do I? Any minute now, Mum and Zoe are going to come crashing in here, looking for this outfit. What am I supposed to say? Oh, sorry, but my friend with the back to front ears couldn't resist a fancy dress parade. To get bored, try reading. There are plenty of books. Oh, well, why? Are you off again? I'm going over to the Plankfield to help set up the gala. I've never been to a gala. And you're not going to one now, that's for sure. You're bound to be chosen for Gala Princess, Kate. I'm up against Zoe Ruddock, remember? Zoe? She can't possibly get it against you. Can't she? Don't forget, Mrs. Ruddock's one of the judges. Surely even her own mother couldn't be bad by you. <laughs>
I came to Earth to gain experience. No reason why I shouldn't have some fun too. Fun? If that hat came off, you'd really have some questions to answer. Well, it won't. Look what? Be sensible. Later today, when the crowds are here, you won't be so conspicuous. But now... Oh, black holes and quasars, you're a real spoil sport. I don't think I'm at all conspicuous. Stay here and you can put that to the test. Zoe's about. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know that she frightened you that much. Not Zoe. He's here. Who? Gemida. He's still after me. Gemida? He's here. Where? I don't know where. But he's here. You go home. I'll see if I can find him. But how will I get in? I'll take my key. How will you get in? I'll borrow one. Go. <laughs> Jonah back for lunch. He's been working like a Trojan. Fine. Where's he come from? I wasn't aware we had a clown on the agenda. <laughs> we haven't. He just turned up out of the blue and offered to help. He even put on his makeup and auditioned for the organizing committee. A genuine volunteer, not press ganged like the rest of us. Press ganged? I'll have you know I have two more than willing slaves. If I were you, I'd delay announcing the Gala Princess until after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> of the Morris dancers, Sean? Uh, no, I'm just going to, Dad. I'd have thought you'd have done it by now. Don't let me down, will you? No, I promise. Sean's in a world of his own today. 
He's a dreamer. I envy him. You do? Off in some fantasy land he's created. Better than wondering what to get for lunch. Well, talking of lunch, we'd better be on our way. I'll give Zoe a shout. Well, not yet. We've got to wait for Jonah to take off his clown's makeup. In that case, one, one two, two, three. three. Try for voice level. Give me the address and uh, I'll be there as soon as you are. Make me feel like one of the family. Can I offer you a drink, Jonah? Actually, I'd, uh, I'd rather see over the print works. What if you're in here trying to make a jet fight? You're on the way over. Oh. There's nothing Tom likes more than showing off his little empire. No time like the present. Oh, please go on. Sean must already be over there. Uh, you stay and give Mum a hand, Zoe. It's all right. I can manage. If there's anything you want to know, ask Zoe. She's the expert. Brains as well as looks. Would you say our Zoe's smitten? Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Hello. Great little setup. All yours. Ours. When Val called it my empire, she was teasing. It's a family business. It has to be. With our circulation, we couldn't afford a permanent start. Val writes the main features and some of the freelance articles. Most of our material comes from freelancers. Of course, Mother and I both use the word processor. Why are those notes on my pop column? Oh, yuck, Sean, can you at least wait for lunch? Oh, you really must have been starving, Sean. I thought you didn't like cheese. I, uh, oh. Unusual impression of teeth. A gannet. I'd say more earthbound creature. Hey, let me. Computers are my scene. Nothing's coming through. Oh, what an idiot. I must have hit the erase button. Wiped out. Zoe, can you ever forgive me? Not to worry, I've got the handwritten copy. Think yourself lucky, Jonah. If it had been me, I'd have been lynched. Let's move on to the machine shop. Oh, and it might be safer, Jonah, if you didn't touch anything. staying on earth house training for a start you mean i can learn to train a house that's not funny well at least not for me i mean not leaving fridge doors open and taps running oh, don't you know what i was doing over there i know what you were doing over there trying to contact your planet any luck it's hopeless michael's put up a force field did you find out about the clown it's not gemida if you wait a sec i'll show you i took a photo of him after he took off his makeup I don't know what's happened here. I can tell you. I took this while you were out earlier. That's me. A 
and that's Jemida. Oh, talk sense. Gemma doesn't look a bit like Jonah. He wouldn't. Gemma does a grand master. He holds the scarlet buckle. Slow down. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Scarlet buckle for what? The art of transanimate personification. Personification? Yes. Yes. Well, as well as being able to transanimate objectify, he can transanimate personify, adopt any form, perfectly. He's not like me. He doesn't make mistakes. You're wrong there. I am. He's made one this time. He has? He thinks he's destroyed you, erased you in the word processor. All you've got to do is stay up here, and your troubles are over. Oh, providing he doesn't double check. How can he unlock the door? Oh, he doesn't need to get in. He's got an iron tagger. You've lost me again. An iron tagger. Well, it's a special... I suppose you'd call it a tracking device. For keeping tabs on you, you mean? Well, not on me. Not on me as what, anyway? On this. It homes in on my amulet of Vitalis. What a day. A day I shall always remember. It's great, Val. Look as though Sean shares your sentiments. Appetite. I'm raiding the fridge, that's why. Faced out by the responsibilities of the occasion. Heavy burden, huh, Sean? Responsibility, snapping a few photographs. Some of us have real work to do. Ah, but Zoe, not everyone has your sunny, carefree nature. Maybe Sean's bitten off more than he could chew. Oh, more than he can chew. Lost his sense of humour as well as his appetite. Sean, advice from a clown. Like Pagliacci. Smile through the tears. Vesti la giuba e la faccia in farina. Ah, good. That's the paper delivery. I'll help unload it and uh, then we can get back to the gala. Zoe, why don't you take Jonah in the other room while I try and finish clearing up? Great, I'll show my little thing. Beyond cloud, one zillion and nine. Our secret. Come on, Jonah, this will fracture you. Okay, Zoe, let battle commence. Trouble is, he rumbled that I was smuggling that upstairs. Oh, black holes. Oh, forget the black holes and quasars. I think I've had an idea about Jonah's iron tagger. Can it pick you up at any distance? No, only close range, about 50 metres, more or less. Why? Can you take off your amulet? Yes, but I'd die. I told you, it's my life source. Immediately? What do you mean? Well, if you just took off your amulet, would you, well... Just die. Oh, this is a rotten conversation. Can't we talk about something else? Oh, fine. Who cares about Gemida? Not me. Read any good books lately? I didn't come to Earth to read books. I could read books on my own planet. You didn't come to Earth to be zapped either. And now we're back to Gemida again. And how to get rid of him. Which was the point of my earlier question which you wouldn't answer. You don't give up, do you? What was the question? How long can you survive without your amulet? Briefly. How briefly? A quintaxon. That's gibberish to me. Gibberish? The lovely word. Gibbering. Gibberish. Yeah, I must remember that. How long is a quintaxon in Earth time? Hmm, bit chancy. The beggars can't be choosers. You mean you've never heard of vanilla rice? Where are you from, Jonah? Out of space. up with the lorry and see that I'm not on it? No, I took the drain plug out of the car radiator. By the time he's got a replacement, 
The lorry will be miles along the M1. M1? The motorway going north. It'll be first stop Newcastle for Gemida. You hope. He swallowed the bait, hook, line and sinker. Well, just remember what the bait is and how long I can survive without it. I'm off to collect your amulet now. I told the lorry driver to leave it with one of the Morris dancers. I told him it was a prize gift for Mum. Well, just make sure that's the only surprise. And remember how long we've got. That's OK. Ten minutes bike there. Collect the parcel ten minutes back. Gives us a good leeway. Leeway? A margin of safety. We've got plenty of time. Providing nothing goes wrong. There's a book based on What on Earth, which is available in bookshops now.